All right, guys, there we go. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install the crank pulley, crank bolts, and then we're gonna put the super time belt together at the same time. Let's go. First, you have to put your uh, engine on TDC, top dead center. And uh, I did this already. You got the marks right here, facing up. The piston number one is on the top dead center. So this is where to go. There's a mark on the crank pulley here, right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little notch right there. There's a little notch right there. And there's a blue line going across that notch. Has to line up with the marking on the timing cover. And on the back of this pulley, there's a little V shape notch right there. So that's only go one way. And that would be the 12 o'clock goes like this, okay? 12 o'clock. And then the mark right here is about 3 o'clock. All right, so let's put this uh, pulley in here. Check your mark. So there's my marking right there. All right, on the oil pan, on the timing cover to the crank. All right, so we're gonna snug it up. I use 15, 16 socket here. Just snug up the crank bolt. All right, guys, there we go. Let's uh, tight this crank bolt up to spec. But first, I'm gonna show you this uh, build trick again. I got a lot of videos on this build trick. Gonna post them on the description down below. Build trick is a uh, what holds this crank pulley steady so that I can torque that bolt down to spec so it's not gonna turn the crank with us so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna route the belt in here just a good old belt laying around in the garage so this is what I got here just like a power steering belt this tiny little one so this uh, pulley turn clockwise goes this way so we're gonna tighten the bolt going clockwise all right guys there we go gonna route this belt you go around this uh, idler pulley here just gonna bend it in half all right guys there we go we're just gonna give this a little test so you can see that when we're spinning the crank, it gouge in that little bend on the belt that is gonna hold the crank pulley. Some people ask, uh, doesn't work if you don't have a, a keyway on the crank. Doesn't work if uh, you have a keyway on the crank. So it doesn't matter. Keyway or without keyway, it's all work the same because uh, this one has no keyway on the crank. So the more the tighten the bolt, the more it gouge the pulley to the crank that would press itself that it's not gonna spin out on me. So um, I'm confident with the setup. Let's get started. So the torque spec on that bolt uh, is 148 foot pounds and then plus 180 degree angle after. So we'll uh, torque this to uh, 148 first. All right, here we go. We're gonna beep here. You can tell that it's nice and steady on my crank pulley. Oh my God. That's only 140. So I need eight more pounds. All right, that's good. All right, so I have to add eight more, eight more pounds at the end to make it 148. And you can tell that uh, it holds 
this crank pulley nice and steady and my uh, my belt here it went behind the idle I just turn the pulley backwards and then uh, get the belt out there you go. need to salvage some old part to make things work there you go guys that's it this belt works awesome don't need special tools at all all right so this is torque to spec bring it back to a uh, tbc the blue mark right here match to my mark on my timing cover it's about three o'clock right there Mm. Mommy said after work she's going to Fatima's house. Okay. Hey, look.